Hello, Terry Caliendo of Dedicated Managers here again. And I, uh, in the recent videos, I showed a, um, a prototype of a database that I was working on for real-time database for a local nonprofit, Foster Kinship. And then in the video before this, I showed uh, the back end, the database, um, the real-time database that's handling the storage of the data for the application. And, and now I'm going to talk about the front end. And so Vue is a new um, JavaScript front end framework which makes uh, programming the user experience much easier. Um, in the old days, you had an HTML form, and you used something like jQuery um, to, to really manipulate the data uh, and, and pass things back and forth between the front end and the, um, the server. Um, but Vue, uh, it, it makes life easier in that it allows you to um, really easily handle data without a lot of work. Um, and I'll get into that when I get into the code. And, and I just wanted to talk a little more about the components. Vuex is a, a global storage for Vue. Now you can use Vue without the global storage, um, but when you're doing a single page web application, um, you're going to want uh, like a global storage that you can um, keep keep track of things from one place, uh, and it makes life a lot easier. Um, so you can read about Vuex, but but it's the it's basically like having global variables and global functions um, uh, in in your Vue project. And then Vue Router is a, a component of Vue that allows you to uh, change the the front end of your um, your your application without actually making calls to the server. So um, when I make when I click to here, um, you can see that down here it's going to show dashboard. Um, I clicked and I, I switched to the dashboard and that changed. That did not make a call to the web server to get the the look of this page. Um, that's all already downloaded. Um, and if we actually show the source. Um, this is the entire source for the application. There's nothing there um, other than this app.js, which this is the, the guts of the whole thing. And this is, um, you know, all the code that, that brings to life the, the user's experience on the, on the front end. And you see it's so big that I can't even load it right now. Now, there's a lot of development stuff in there. Um, but it's not the traditional um, HTML of, of the old days. And, and um, since... This is an app that's going to be closed to the public. I'm not worried about any search engine optimizations. Now you can um, work with to create um, search engine optimization optimized websites uh, in Vue, uh, but um, that's not really necessary for what I'm creating here because this is going to be closed to the public. Only the um, you know the internal staff is going to be using um, this. So the again back to the router component. The router component allows when I click on here. Again, um, you're going to see the, the URL change um, to this client and, and the data, and that didn't make a call to the um, to the server to get the look, but it did make a call. You saw something happen down here. It made a call to the Firestore database um, to get the data, uh, the most recent data, and, and um, again, the app isn't fully... Um, um, a real time yet this part is real time once I get to this page then I showed in the other video how, how this was real time but um, so that is the the routing component it allows you to change um, you know your your path without actually making calls to the server and then the um, the view JavaScript does a lot of the work and and, and actually um, Firebase has a plugin um, to view that, that makes those calls really easy. There's no more setting up web sockets. Um, you don't have to do all that stuff on your own. It's just all done for you in code. Um, and I'll show that when I get into the, um, the Firestore coding. Um, and then the final thing is, is the Vuedify, um framework. And this is the makes the front end look good. So um, when, when you see this form here, the old HTML forms don't look like this. You know, HTML forms are boxes, and it doesn't have this pretty label and all this stuff. This stuff is handled by the the theme, um, and this theme uh, material copies Vuedify. This theme Vuedify copies the uses the material design framework that Google does, so the app will look a lot like uh, um, you know if you log into a a Google. 
um, product um, it's like Firestore. So if I go into Firestore, you see this over here. This is called a, um, a, a navigation component or a tool, um, a nav bar, uh, a drawer actually. This is called a drawer, and you can put all your navigation within it. Um, and uh, I don't know if they're going to let me. Um, this one doesn't necessarily have you. Oh, there it is. You can shrink the drawer and get different components. This is all handled by the framework, and the framework makes this programming of this really easy. Um, all that slide transitions that you used to have to do in jQuery, um, it's all done for you now. You don't have to think about it. Um, you just tell it that this is what I want. I want a drawer, and I can actually show you if we go into Beautify, their documentation is actually very fantastic and makes it super easy to play with. Um, and that's in the components. So if we go to the components and we look at a, um, uh, let's see if it's, an, it's a navigation drawer. And you can see that, see this is the look of, of this. It's different colors, but you've got a heading and, and subcomponents. Um, and here you've got the heading and the subcomponents with their icons. And you can tell it all these different things that you want it to do. Um, so here is that shrinking ability um, where it goes from, from wide to small, which we saw um, you know, in here, um, from small to big. So all the different features um, of, of the Google Layout engine um, are, are, are mimicked here in, in Beautify. Um, and it's a great component. So this Beautify, um, Again, they're, they're mimicking Beautify, right? Um, so they're saying make your, um, it makes your view project look pretty and makes it easy to do that. And there's not a lot of extra um, coding to do that. You can just use their API um, and, and even get great examples from their code. So if I go down and I wanted to see you know, how this mini thing worked, um, you can actually look at the source right there and you can actually even pop out a, a code pen um, and actually play with the code and actually learn how the code works right here. Um, you know, if I wanted to change the home, um, I can actually just change that to home two and it's going to update over here real time. So I can actually play with it. And that's what's great about um, Beautify is they, get, they have these code pens that just let you play with it and see what you're doing. Um, so that's each of the components um, at a high level and, and what they do for the, the application. Um, and, and in the next videos, I'll go into some detail and start looking at the code of um, you know, how, how Firebase is working and set up uh, as far as the real time goes. And you'll be able to see that it's just a few calls and, and it's pretty simple and, and pretty amazing.